What up team, it's Dane here. How to count macros for bulking. So here it is man, I'm gonna freeboard this shit quickly. So one thing I recommend for a lot of people, especially when they're bulking, is you hear a lot of people saying, cut your carbs and fats and protein, all this kind of stuff. Well, here's the thing. The reason I recommend people don't count their carbs and fats is because it is. Imagine like taking a scale, right? And you like, everywhere you go, you have to remember how many carbs and fats you eat, stuff like this. This is gonna cause more mental stress. And when you have more mental stress, that can actually also affect the amount of muscle you can gain, right? So we know that when we stress, we shoot up our cortisol level, which is a stress hormone, and that can also impact building muscle and losing fat as well, right? So same as sleep, if you don't get enough sleep, but that's another video altogether. So that's the main reason why. And to count your macros for bulking up, I recommend this, concentrate on the amount of calories you eat per day and the protein intake per day, the total daily protein intake. Don't worry too much about the timing of it unless you do like two a day workouts or unless you're a professional athlete and you've managed to come across my videos then yeah maybe you're going to worry about that but most importantly protein intake is the most important the total daily and amount of calories and here's the reason why for those of you that are wondering well when you look at the science as always that i always say there's like been a study of 35 studies right and meta analysis like i always say which is studies of studies now this is not just one study that you hand pick this is loads of studies in one. Now this clearly showed that the carb to fat ratio didn't matter when it came to body fat percentage. Now, one thing I have to mention again, this is not black and white, and this is what I say to all my clients, right? It's like, this exercise is wrong and this one is right. It's not how it is. It depends what you wanna use it for. So, for example, when we relate this to macros, if you're gonna do like a lot of activity during the day, if your lifestyle is very active, very, very active, let's say you're a builder, a personal trainer, or something like that, then you are going to need a higher carb intake and the reason being is because we know that carbohydrates produce faster energy more atp than fat does that's why we need more carbohydrate in a diet so that's that man fats again you still need them don't go below 15 to 20 percent of your total intake which most people don't really because it is important for hormones and i've actually had someone say to me that man i've gotten a really for low fat intake and this guy was a really nice guy at the gym by the way and he's like oh man i lost all my libido and stuff like this like yeah because it is quite important for testosterone as well so and hormone regulation so that's that man that's all you need to know really about counting your macros for bulking up. If you enjoyed the video, let me know. Online coaching now available. Again, screening process because I'm not expect accepting just anyone and everyone. And send an email to natandanagema.com if that's something you're interested in. And man, I've been talking a lot. But always, man, stay positive. Look at that smile, man. Stay smiling. Let's get it. And I'll see you in the next one.